Good afternoon. My name is Jason. I'm here with Dana. Now, Dana, what would you say if I told you you could potentially live longer by injecting yourself with young blood? I would say that sounds a lot like a vampire to me, but how is that possible? They're not real. Well, uh, the science behind vampires, you know, not too far-fetched. Well, a new branch of research is uh, actually called blood rejuvenation, and it's starting to cure diseases like Alzheimer's and such, basically by extending your lifespan. And uh, let's take a trip to Roz to see, you know, the beginning of this concept. Here we are with a scientist studying parabiosis, Esteban. Can you tell us more about this concept? Well, it's quite simple, really. You see, parabiosis is just stitching these two rats together, one old and fat, and the other one young and thin. And then over time, just watching them, watching them, watching. And then what you can see is that the older one gets younger and thinner, whereas the young one gets older and fatter. So it has to be something in the blood. That's all they share. You're very right. Let's visit with another scientist who did further research on this matter. Back to you, Jason. I'm now with Andrew, who's going to tell us more about the protein that's found in the blood. Of course, the protein is called GDF11, and it may actually be the key to how these results came to be. As you age, levels of GDF11 in your body go down. When we raise these levels in old mice, function is restored to damaged tissues. We still don't know what the perfect level for this is, though more research is currently underway. Fantastic. So do you know how this research is being applied now? Well, currently, some scientists in London are testing how GDF11 could help treat Alzheimer's. You should talk to someone more about this if you want more details. I think I'll do just that. Well, Back to you, Roz. How can blood rejuvenation help with Alzheimer's patients? Alzheimer's is a disease that down onsets with age and damages the brain tissue. An addition of young blood could show cognitive improvements in patients and rejuvenate damaged tissue and in some ways reverse the disease. It's all highly experimental, though. Thanks. We'll look for the research when it's published. Let's go back to Jason with our original guest, Dana. What do you think of this research? I think it sounds great. Where can I sign up? Uh, wait just a minute. This is highly experimental. There are a lot of side effects we don't exactly know about yet. Research has shown there's an increased potential of cancer from the reactivation of stem cells that GDF11 causes. Therefore, if you've ever been treated or know someone who has been treated with the blood rejuvenation process, call 1-800-BLOOD. Since lack of research in humans means it is not definitive yet whether or not this could extend life or health span. Thanks for watching.